Mm. So where are we? Valley. There's a tunnel that we would have gone through. A lakey lakey road, I think. It's quite the view. That's Diamond Head out there, I think. Diamond Head. I think. See, we would have driven all the way around it. And we're trying to get over... To there. Somewhere over there. Yeah. That's where we're getting married. Lanakai Beach. Well, Linda? <laughs> oh, don't do that. You don't need my eyeball in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Go together. <laughs> How do we get on the camera? Well, I turn it off and it's recording. We're getting married. <laughs> I know, but no. I'm here, you're there. Are we supposed to meet the middle or what? No, Gary's writing it. Oh, okay. 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 Oh,
Yeah, it's going now.
we love him too. Because of how wandering it is, but with the world being. Because I was a wandering idiot and you found me. Right. <laughs>
This is fantastic. I'm so glad you decided to get married in Hawaii. I'm so glad you got dressed. Thank you. It's very feminine. It's a real bride. Wonderful Walmart. Wonderful Walmart. Like what? Like this? <laughs> or like this? I won't drop it. Like something for a bike. <laughs> oh, there you go. Got you to Hawaii. What is that? Right. Uh, that looks like the bottom of his tripod. Uh, tripod. Uh, tripod. So now what are we doing? Uh, now we're filming the wandering idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're such a <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Gary's wife, Linda. About that. <laughs> and we're in Hawaii. We've got the ocean kissing the shore. The people we love and adore with us, and it's pretty wonderful. There goes the wandering idiot. <laughs> it's not going to take again. Oh. <laughs> Here, here, mom. Are you gonna? You, you know how to run that thing. No. Yeah, just just point. And shoot. Yeah. What are we doing? Hey, we're, we're we're getting pictures. Where do I, do I push anything? Do I push in anything Hawaii. on this? I don't know. I don't know. Do I push anything on this? We might get everybody in here. Oh, you told me to take the camera. Yeah, we're watching. Are you like trying on. to own up to the wandering idiot? Um, I have to do what to do
<laughs> it was running. I started taking to you guys, and he says, "Take." He says, "Give me that camera." I want. Yeah, it. say it's it's still running.
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, now you just ruined my whole fucking shot. All right. Ah. Jennifer Lynn Clark. It has been a pleasure of mine to be in your company for five years. I have lived in your shadow. I have lived in your light many, many, many times for five years. Sometimes it's not always the right thing that I do, but I still try to do the best. I will continue to keep doing the best that I possibly can. Hopefully for another five more years, if not more. <laughs> more. <laughs> I love you very much. And I hope with these words, and people here to witness this, I hope that we can continue to be wonderful parents. And I hope our children will be blessed. And I hope that with all its glory here on Hawaii, we can continue to be married and love one another as though it were the first day. <laughs> <It's> beautiful. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I'm totally not prepared. Um, From the, from the first time that I saw you, way back when, <laughs> and, um, Many moons ago. <laughs> many moons ago. <laughs> um, I knew you were something special then. And you were, for lack of a better word, a diamond in the rough. And you had a lot of rough edges and you smoothed out a lot of those. And you're a wonderful, wonderful man. You're a fantastic father, obviously. <laughs> Since we got another one on the way. <laughs> and I'm, I couldn't be happier or more proud to share this with my life with you and my children's life with you. And I can't wait for us to continue the rest of our lives together. And so someday when I'm 100 and you're 90 something, <laughs> you can take care of me. <laughs> I'll still be 28, so don't tell me I'm 100, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you very much. Thank you for this. We take each other by the hand, the right hand. It's my privilege to offer this blessing to you and to pronounce you again, husband and wife, forever and ever. Now this is the bride. <laughs> <laughs> I love you 
Oh wait, one more thing. I think we all know this song. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now. Seeing the video Valentine. Birthday, birthday, roll of one. Birthday, birthday, losing my hair. Close the door. Feed me. Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. When I'm 64. <laughs> Shell shock. So I guess this means we're officially late in Hawaii, right? <laughs> one, one thing that I'll say to all the, the married couples, too, just to finish up here, um, just to, this last moment that something that. <laughs> Close up. <laughs> Wow. It reminds me of a word in the Flathead Salish language. When a husband and wife get married, they say, which means that they were born together. And I kind of feel like we were all born together again today uh, here in Hawaii. And that's, uh, that's what a marriage is, that we are born together. And we start this moment fresh from this time until forever. And so that's what that reminded me of. Oh, I got it. You can get it with mine. Where do I push? Don't get too close. Where do I push? Right there where your finger is. Because then you'll break your hand. Oh, that's good. I tell ya. When I get old. About nine years from ten years from now. <laughs> this is our honeymoon suite. Look at this. It is so sweet. Oh, look at that bed. Look at the view. Out Hickam. <laughs> yeah, kind of like this water beats out a Hickam. Oh man. Look at that. I'm watching the big screen TV over there. Watching the big screen TV over there. Yeah, second floor down Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> View.
Okay, okay. Scooter. Balance the boat. <laughs> yeah, that's not right there. What's the boat? Balance the boat. Uh, nice. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's where they're going to have a luau. All right, cousins. Aloha! Aloha! Welcome to the canoe tour. Our destination is going to be the island of Marquesas. And just before the tour, just like quickly introduce myself. My name is Eddie. I'm from New Zealand. And uh, I'm going to be our engine today. <laughs> so if you have any questions or inquiries, just feel free to ask the one next to you. <laughs> and uh, I'm currently a student in BYU Hawaii. I'm majoring in accounting and a uh, minor in canoe pushing. <laughs> <laughs> If you take a closer look at the hut, you realize there's no walls. And the reason for that is because Samoa is located very close to the equator, which is extremely hot. And this particular design allows maximum air circulation to put the hut down. But there's also a problem come with it, that you have no privacy. So if you want to do something private, you have to either shut the blind, I'll tell your neighbors close their eyes. In the island of Samoa, so what shows like climbing the coconut tree like right now? Okay. Uh, yes, more. I thought it start by everyone I had. That's right. That's right. Why is people? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She asked what the women do. Oh, they just stay in the house and help clean the housework and stuff. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cousins, island on our uh, right hand side is island Aotearoa. Do you guys have any idea, idea where's Aotearoa? No. no. Never heard of it. The name name for that island is New Zealand. Oh. oh. Your home. Aotearoa is a Maori name. It means the land of long white clouds. New Zealand is the only Polynesian country that contains four seasons including snow in the winter. Oh. And it's very well known for its natural landscape and also a rare rugby team complex. We watched the movie Lot of Ranks. Yeah? Yeah. I've been filmed in New Zealand. Yes. yes. It's a very beautiful place. <laughs> also known as the East Island, where all the Easter Bunny lives. <laughs> the statues are called the Moai. And the red thing on their head, on their head, is their hair. Yeah. And if you leave the longer you grow your hair, Stronger and wiser you are. Ah. We also call them the Jackson Five. <laughs> the Jackson Five. Jackson five. <laughs> we used to have here, but being blocked by wind two years ago, we never managed to grow it back. <laughs> we also have a nickname of Fire Bridge. You guys know why? Why? If any of you guys hit your head on the bridge, someone gonna get fired. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want it to be you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cousins. The long red canoe on our right hand side. That's a Maori war canoe, also known as a Waka Tawa. It's made from a single tree log. Oh, wow. Weighs about two and a half tons. Wow. It's about 40 Maori warriors. And some people say it could have a maximum speed, but. 100 miles per hour. That's when it's go down the waterfall. <laughs> Otherwise, the map can speed about 15 miles per hour. We're going to Fiji. In Fiji, we greet people by saying, Bola Vinaka. I always say, Bola Vinaka. Bola Vinaka. Bola means hello, and Vinaka means good health and long life to you. Fiji is a country that contains about 300 islands, so only half of it is populated, and the other half is on sale. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you crash? <laughs> oh well. 
It's one of those fire things. It's, it's not really a fresh. The fresh come later. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Kevin, just pass. Polynesian center restroom. <laughs> if you take a look at the sign, you'll realize both female and male wearing skirt. But the male one are from waist down. They call the Sulu, like the one wearing right now. So it's not really a skirt. In case you get confused. <laughs> All right, cousins, look at the plantation on our left hand side. Do you guys have any, have any idea what those are? Banana trees. Yeah, they're banana, banana trees. You can see a big bunch of it on the back. In Fiji, people like to eat bananas while they're still green. Just uh, mash it and cook it with coconut. It tastes but like potatoes, you say. Chicken thighs doing this? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Makes you strong. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not that long. No, everything will pop. I'll find it out for you. <coughs> not pop. <laughs> Thank you. Bula means hello. We not going to good day, good health to you. Um, any of you been to Fiji before? Anybody been to Fiji? Island on our left hand side, this is the island of Fiji. Island on our right hand side, that's the whole island of Hawaii. Alright, cousins, this is the tall building on our left hand side. This is the tallest building in the center, and this is a Fiji temple. The reason why it's being built so tall is obviously Fijian people want to be pretty big. Um, it's because they believe the taller you build your building, the closer you are to God. Therefore, the easier the prayer gets answered. That's similar to a lot of religion. There are only three people allowed to enter into the temple. Uh, they are the chief, the priest, and last of all, the human sacrifice. Oh, wow. The Fijian people last to stop cannibalism nearly only about 100 years ago. Oh my gosh. And the island on our left hand side right now, that's the island of Tahiti. In Tahiti, we greet people by saying Yorana. Everyone saying Yorana. Yorana. If, uh, you are, have you seen the fussy chicken dance in the canoe pageant? Yeah. That's, uh, that's from the island of Tahiti. You get the idea from the fish. So when you put the fish out of the water, the first thing it does is shake its tails. Alright, cousin, since in Hawaii, how many of you guys tried poi on the island yet? Mm. Yep. Uh, a lot of people say it tastes like wallpaper paste. I'm doing pretty good too, thanks for asking. Alright, cousins. Oh, you gotta aim it. There you go. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's definitely you. Especially with that out. Okay, Gary, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Did you get a kiss? <laughs> Maybe I'll take the hat off. Just the two of you? Just the two of you? No, it's, no, no. no. It's, uh, a bunch of us. How many in your family? One, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven of us. Seven of you, okay? They're not seven, seven, seven.
Stairs, continue oh, to make your way here to my left. There's there plenty of room here at our emu. Once again, my name is Cousin Wiki, and it's my privilege and honor to be here with you tonight. We want you to know that here in Hawaii, we look for any reason to have a luau. Any type of celebration, birthday, wedding, anniversary, funeral, uh, divorce, we celebrate. <laughs> That's what it's all about here in Hawaii. We'd like to invite you folks at your next celebration to throw a luau. But before you dig a hole in your ground, in your backyard or your front yard, we ask that you call your fire marshal just to make sure you have their permission to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. We begin by digging a hole in the ground, filling it with any flammable item. For us, that would be our dried coconut husk, any old dried leaves, old tree stumps. For you, off island, paper, cardboard, wood, your in-laws, whatever. <laughs> and let it burn. And then right on top of that, we're gonna place a layer of lava rocks or coals, okay? We want you to know it's not the flames from the fire that will do the cooking in an emu. It'll be the heat generated from these hot coals. So once the rocks are nice and hot, we'll remove half of the rocks, we'll line the bottom of the emu with those that are remaining, and right on top of the rocks, we'll place a layer of banana leaves. Now, the banana tree is very vital to us in the process of cooking. We use the leaves, obviously we cook and eat the bananas, and then the old tree stumps, I don't know if you know this, but once a banana bears, or a banana tree bears its fruit, it only has one cycle, yeah? And then the rest of the tree just kind of remains there. Well, we use that tree, we dry out the old tree stump as a source of fire, and then once again, we eat the green or the yellow bananas. We cook the green ones, and if they're ripe, we just eat the yellow ones like any other like all of you do, yeah? And so we put, again, the layer of green banana leaves on top of um, the hot coals, mound, therefore causing a steam cook effect all around the food. Now, ladies, I have an announcement for you. Rarely do we see women at the emu. Our men and our boys do the cooking in Hawaii. What do you think about that, ladies? <laughs> so, so men, we'd like to invite you to start doing the cooking in your, in your shops here today during your visit. Now don't be alarmed by the way you see the pig right now. This isn't the way you'll see it when you get your We add to it some salt, therefore the dish is called Kalua pork. Now, a favor, put your hands together for the cooks of the Ali Luau, and let's follow them. If you want a picture of the pig or the cooks, make your way over here, all right? <laughs> 